Hey Leanpub, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Thingsite.com and in today's, today's video I want to quickly go over the P Python cheat sheet book you are about to uh, download. So the book is completely free. I have created this like booklet. It's you cannot even uh, call it a book. Uh, it's, a, it's just a compilation of the cheat sheets I have created for my Thingster community of uh, ambitious coders who want to learn to code, who want to learn Python, and uh, many of those li like cheat sheets and they want to learn. So I I, I created this like the best of. Uh, Python material and compressed it into a very dense Python cheat sheet so that they can print it and uh, like uh, um, post it to their office walls or so and look at or even toilet walls and look at the cheat sheets every day. So uh, the cheat sheets uh, contain basic all the ba Python basics you need to know to get started with your first project and even more. So I have, as you see, I have 15 cheat sheets. The first one is about keywords. I will quickly go over the cheat sheet so that you can see what you are uh, download if you get the. Uh, cheat sheet book. It's uh, the book is free, and you can also join the Thingster um, community for free at blog.thingster.com/slash/subscribe. Um, okay, so if you join us, you will get all these cheat sheets, also per email, and also like additional video content and uh, Python lessons and so on. It's the uh, most comprehensive Python academy on the web. Okay, so uh, so the the first one is about Python's keywords. So Python has 15 keywords, and uh, you need to know these key Python keywords. I mean, you cannot Google all the time if you need to uh, if you need to write some code. Uh, Google the meaning of this and that keyword. So these are the basic keywords like false, true, and or not, break, continue, class, def, if, else, el elif, for, while, in, is, none, lambda, and return. These are the most important of the most important Python things you need to know. So this is really 80-20 learning. 20% of the skills in uh, 80% uh, of the skills and 20% of the time, otherwise it wouldn't be very impressive. <laughs> Okay, the second one is about the basic Python, uh, Python data types, which is Boolean data type, integer from float data type, and string data types. And some of the specific properties of those data types, uh, like for example, slicing uh, for strings is very important, or the basic arithmetic operations you can do with Python, like what are some built-in functions, like the apps function, ABS function, that calculates the absolute value of a given number. And also, like, uh, like for Boolean, the... Um, truthiness of variables. So in, in Python, all variables have an associated truth value. So uh, there's an implicit conversion happening. And uh, for example, if you, you can do something like if empty list, do this and that, and uh, empty list would evaluate to false. The empty list evaluates to false. And this is just some just some Python feature you need to understand because many, many Python coders, expert coders use this feature heavily. Okay, so uh, so these are, this is all about these basic data types. Then we also have complex data types. What are complex data types? Uh, I, I say like complex data type, but I really mean com container data types. So they are complex. They are not simple. They are, they, the complex is formed out of a, a number of simple things that interact <laughs> together. Like this is a definition of complexity almost. And for complex data types, for example, so you, have, you have list, stacks, set, dictionary, members, and there are some, 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 some features that are relevant for all kind of com complex data types like membership operations. You can check membership for dictionaries, sets, or lists, uh, or even list and set and dictionary comprehension. This is a very concise way of creating list in a single line of code. Then we also have like object-oriented basics, the classes cheat sheet. I show you what are classes, what are instances, how do you create classes, give you an, uh, a great example uh, that, that shows many of the features of Python classes so that you get up to speed very quickly. Um, Functions and tricks. This is actually this is just a fun. I created this just for fun, but many many of uh, Thingster coders in my community community actually enjoy this cheat sheet the most because it gives you some Python tricks that are just uh, fun and, and enjoyable to consume. Like uh, how can you s sort using the key function? How can you enumerate or zip together different iterables? How can you unpack arguments? Merge dictionaries. Um, I actually got this from, from Dan Bader, uh, who, who you probably know, which is a great Python teacher on the web. Um, also, like uh, how to start your own web server, how to read a, a comic even from your Python shell. You just have to type import anti-gravity. Uh, I can do it quickly if you have some time. So, um, so this is a Python shell. It looks very cluttered because I have just programmed something. Anti-gravity, so you type import anti-gravity and it opens a webcomic for you, right? <laughs> so this is 
like you're flying Python. You can read, you can do it yourself in your own shell. So these are some Python tricks that are fun. Uh, next cheat sheet is about interview questions. So you don't do Python for fun. So many people actually learn Python for fun. I, for example, I, for me, it's just fun. But many people also learn Python to uh, increase their chances to become more uh, successful in their jobs. And uh, so if you want to, uh, to get a job, as a Python coder, then you need to go through the coding interview, right? So, and these are like 14 very, very frequent uh, um, um, code interview questions that you need to understand. And I solved them just like on a cheat sheet, you can quickly go over them, test your skills and your training. And um, yeah, I mean, even if you don't do interviews, it's actually fun to, to solve these simple problems, like how to compute the intersection of two lists, not sets, uh, how to check if a list contains an integer value, how to check if two strings are an anagram, how to remove duplicates from a list, how to use lists as stacks, how to find all permutations of a string. So these are really popular interview questions and they are like uh, uh, compiled in this cheat sheet. Then we also have a NumPy cheat sheet. NumPy I think is the most important library in data science and data science is uh, data science and machine learning. And data science and machine learning is basically, I would say, the most important subcategory of Python and the reason why Python is so successful as the major programming language these days. So therefore, I included the NumPy cheat sheet here as well. This, this shows you like the most important NumPy functions, all those functions you need to know and understand to become a um, more successful data scientist as well. And I got to give you some object-oriented terms. So this goes back to object orientation, but just focusing on the terminology. Um, then also just for fun, I have created like this test sheet. Uh, this is Alice in the center of the labyrinth and then you just have to find, so help Alice find her coding dad. So you have to go through the maze and find the dad here. And, and on the way you will probably uh, um, see some, like uh, you, you uh, probably meet some animals and each time you meet an animal, you have to solve a certain puzzle, right? And um, yeah. So, and that's why, uh, that's, that's how, that's how, uh, like, it's very fun, very basic game, but, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. You can just go over it as you, as you like. Next cheat sheet is about the most, uh, six most important, um, I call it pillar machine learning algorithms. I also, like, I give the rough idea in a, in a visual presentation, but of course I cannot give you the whole algorithm there, uh, because it's just a cheat sheet. So I give you a link to the cheat, to the, to a, to a tutorial that, uh, that, basically explains the whole algorithm with video for you. But you can also get the rough idea of the algorithm just looking at the image. Next one, I think this is also one of the most important cheat sheets. It's about Git. So every developer needs to understand Git, whether you are a Python coder or not. And Git, uh, it's really critical for for a project, uh, for for software projects. Um, and this, like this cheat sheet, gives you the centralized workflow so that you understand the the concepts and the rough idea of Git. Because many people they use Git all the time, but they don't really understand how the workflow, how it works, how like how is it, how it integrates. Uh, how, how does everything play together and what is actually a uh, master branch and so on and how does it work and this this cheat sheet gives you uh, all of this and of course I also give you like links to my code tutorials where I uh, also uh, explain this in video format to you. Next one is a machine learning cheat sheet about support vector machines which I find are among the most robust and best uh, ways to class uh, uh, machine learning classifiers so I just included the cheat sheet here and uh, yeah you can check it out go over it improve your machine learning skills a bit doesn't harm for sure. Next we have a cheat sheet about list methods uh, these are the most important list methods. Uh, actually, not all list methods, but the most important ones. And I think these are just used so often. So therefore, I included it here because I mean, cheat sheet is all about 80-20 principle, right? So you learn again 80% of the things in 20% of the time. So uh, so these are the most important among the most important functions in Python. So you need to understand it, and I included the cheat, uh, list here. And then I like. C compressed all these cheat sheets. This is like the master cheat sheet. So I, I, I took all the cheat sheets uh, fr from the book and compressed the most important things into this single ultimate Python cheat sheet. So this you can definitely check out. And um, yeah, then as final cheat sheet, this this I just created. It's a uh, it's a uh, cheat sheet about my new book, the finer uh, simplicity, the finer art of creating software. It actually the, it isn't the book hasn't even appeared yet, but you can already check out the content. Uh, like very like interesting um, interesting concepts in computer science and programming productivity, like complexity, the eighty twenty principle. 
Minimum Viable Products, Unix Philosophy, Clean Code Principles, Premature Optimization, Flow, Less is More in the Design and Focus. So I think this is like, uh, these are some very important concepts every coder must understand. Okay, so these are the 15 cheat sheets. Enjoy the cheat sheets, uh, get them for free and yeah, see you in the email academy. Bye.